Well, only one mark remains for the... Well, two, actually. Uh, yeah, let's do greedier. Why not? I'll try. Oh. Well, well, well. This is certainly interesting. Okay, go. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. They're off screen. Couldn't see. That's a little frustrating. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. If I don't like it, just do that. Okay. It's something. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Snipers. Okay, this is the one that's gonna carry me. Just let it do its thing. Yay for collateral damage. Oh, crap. Damn it. Ugh, greed mode. Okay. Yeah, options weren't really great, but I got a damage up, so I guess that's good. Oh, no. It's invisible. I'm just gonna die. I could barely see that. Say really? Okay. This one's kind of unfortunate. There's nowhere to hide. Whoa. 
Oh, that almost sniped me. Oh, jeez. They keep jumping on top of me. It's okay. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Interesting. Cracked key. It didn't do anything. I was right next to it, it didn't do anything. I feel a bit ripped off. And no, I don't feel ripped off anymore. It has its uses. Full health. Yeah. Okay. Extra tricky.
Oh. That was close. That almost messed me up. Uh, this is an interesting item. It makes two enemies, but then it halves their health. Try it. No! Ah, oh, fuck. Pinched me. That was so unfortunate. Hello. Yes, that's better. Dead. Oh my god. of spiders. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Kind of unfortunate. 
Alright, we'll skip this. This has its purpose. Fuck's sake. Alright, should be dead. Just hang back. Snot will rule. Doesn't convert treasure rooms. Nah, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Both of them gone. Oh no, it went over. <sighs> Crap, it was a free coin. That could be useful. Wait, so that's a PhD and... Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna try and duplicate my money here. That's a no-brainer, it's gonna be cheap stats. With pills. Unfortunately, I gotta leave it all to the end, but it will work. Jeez. That was... That was a lot of bombs. You're already dead. You've been stuck.
very good. range. That's unfortunate. It's worth the gamble. Oh, word. Oh, it works that way. Huh. Interesting. That's easy. Damn, one more and I would have had it. Oh. Okay, bad luck. That's a re-roll. Okay, definitely picking that up. Plus. I got sniped by this. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How's things? Oh, well, I'm paying attention to my fight. Ooh. There's the A plus. Oh, but mmm. Uh, the the A plus is good, but the crown give me devil deals. Hmm. Hello, weird Gus. Yeah, sorry, just thinking out loud. Oh. 
Ooh, this is nasty. Doesn't look like the snot is proccing as much with that. Okay, good. <sighs> I've made my choice. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on, really? Uh, Dream catch is not really useful, but... Wait, there's a needle here. I can get that. I guess I'll try and re-roll it. Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Ugh, that was scary. Oh boy. Oh. I hate that the floor is red. It's, it makes it harder to see the shots flying at you. Why is the floor red? Ah, it's gone. Oh well. Range and luck. Yeah, it's not really useful either. <laughs> Stop it! Why do I keep getting these bullet hell scenarios? Wait. Ayana hates this game because her reason is she doesn't like the aesthetic. I mean, to each their own. Admittedly, uh, the creator's art style is a bit of an acquired taste. But if you look past it, it's a really good game. Probably has one of the highest replay values of any game I've ever played. I'll take it, it's fine. Oh, is it Twitch yet? Thank you for gifting Iona that sub. I mean, I don't think Silly Bears is starting a fire, it's just pointing something out.
I can understand it, though, if you don't like looking at it. <laughs> you can't believe they based the game on an emo. Yeah. Edmund would be crazy. Alright. Damn it. That's worse. That, however... I just removed the downside to it. Ooh. I could choose to be really spicy and, like, get that, but I don't know. You played the game when it was a Flash game. Oh, it's come a long way since then. The number of characters it has is crazy, and the paths and the room variety. This latest update has just doubled the character roster. Crap, I hate those things. And it's a lot harder as well, if you didn't find it a challenge. Oh no, that thing's got gravity. Oh no, damn it. Oh well, rip. <laughs> it's over visually stimulating, that makes sense. Okay, I'm never gonna need keys now. I think that's one area where they can improve, because even... Like, if you have friendlies that are shooting, for example, they're still the color red. So it does, uh, get overwhelming. Every time you think you know Anna, she's always like, well, actually, and you look dumb. I, I don't know, I wouldn't call it looking dumb. It's streamers give you, like, but a fraction of their real personality. You only get to know them to the extent at which you know them on stream and Discord. It's always interesting to hear, like, perceptions. You broadly said you didn't like the game. Ah, uh, that's... I mean, I can see how that would have led to that. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying that, right? Listen, at least saying that you didn't like it, or that it wasn't your aesthetic, is still infinitely more descriptive than, like, what some of my younger cousins say, which is like, nah, it's cringe. It's like, what do you mean it's cringe? Oh, it's cringe. It's like, how about you express an opinion that tells me why you don't like it? I sound like an old man, but... <laughs> It's just, that's the one thing I don't like these days, is just the overuse of cringe. But it's, it's kind of been used as a, as just a go-to word to express, like, distaste, dislike. Kinda like how people overuse the word literally.
Anyway, I think it's fine to say you don't like a game. Look at all the keys, yeah. Uh, okay. Since the item is cheap, wow, that's unlucky. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! Okay, I'll try and re-roll it again. Well, I should, no. Next time someone says you find it cringe, just say, okay, why do you find it awkward and what makes you feel about it that way? See, but that's that's too much of a, a calm response, and that's not like me. In the, ca in the case of, like, some of the younger people that I interact with that are pretty close to my family, I have to correct that behavior and be like, please express what you're feeling. I don't want you to be, like, 20 and looking for a job and then you're, like, using cringe as a fucking adjective. That's horrible. <laughs> Unless it's- it's actually cringe, you know? Like, you're using the word for what it is. That's fine. Ah, there's that erratic movement again. <laughs> People are dumb, you need to articulate. I mean, look. I think there's nothing wrong with stumbling over yourself and not being able to say something. But at, at the very least, you can appreciate the person's making an effort to try and express a thought. But when they're using a word that is, like, so hive mind and just doesn't really get across what they're trying to get across. Oh wow, that's the first elevated message I've ever seen. <laughs> Here's eight dollars of Iona's money, I've not used this feature before. Yeah, I have concerns about that feature, but it's pretty much as Twitch as, no, please don't be angry at us for the whole blog post we did. Here, have this new feature where you get 70-30. Tears down. I appreciate it, silly bear, either way. Wait, so Aona, you didn't get it? I'm surprised. Why did I get it? Like, <laughs> no one does- no one does anything here. I kind of actively discourage it. In fact, on my Discord server, I, I straight up said, hey, if you see this feature in my channel, please don't use it. <laughs> uh, from what I've heard, it's not available everywhere either. Like, even if the channel has it, they haven't enabled it uh, elsewhere. Okay. Well, I mean, it's probably not going to do more. I don't know. I feel like on a monthly basis, just Twitch announces something that kind of makes me more jaded towards the platform as a whole. Next month, I'm going to try YouTube streaming, so we'll see how that goes. Not like completely replacing Twitch, but just seeing if at the very least my regulars watch, because then that's honestly more than enough. You expect Twitch to collapse in a couple of years? No, I, I kind of feel you on that one. I think they kind of put themselves in a corner. Um, I've started messing around with YouTube Shorts, and honestly, I'm already kind of impressed by it. <laughs> like, it's gotten way more traction than any of the other stuff I've done lately, so... Now, the problem with Twitch is they messed up. If people remember, 
I think it was in 2019, maybe, maybe a little bit before it, but they were messing around with having a feed on Twitch, and then it was going to have people posting stuff on there, and uh, even clips, and then they just abandoned those plans and doubled down on ads. If they had stuck to those plans and made it, it put it into the, I don't know, the mobile app, probably would have had like a gaming TikTok thing by now. But instead they were like, nah, more ads. So now they're in this awkward position where like live streaming isn't really making them as much as they want. And they don't really have another way to make more money other than doubling down on ads or adding stuff like the super chat thing here that we see. I mean, sorry, not the t super chat. What are the, what do Twitch call it? Elevated message. It's totally not a carbon copy of super chat. I think it's a bit too late because like the cracks have started to show. Um, by the time by the time they develop it, like I think YouTube is gonna take off because they've already got shorts, and their live streaming stuff is getting better. And. Twitch kind of shot themselves in the foot with that blog post saying, Hey, uh, we can't give you a better, better split. Oh, by the way, our content creators that are like at the top 1%, we're going to cut their pay. And, uh, I know we don't want you to think about that you cost us money, but you do. And we're going to break down those costs to you. But then still tell you that we're in it together. And that's why we decided on a 50-50 split, because us... The billion dollar corporation that owns us wants to establish that uh, we're in this together. How are they losing money? It doesn't make sense. Uh, probably in hosting alone. Running a video service is expensive. I think even YouTube doesn't make money ultimately, from what I've heard. But that being said, it creates a uh, opportunity in other areas which kind of makes it worth it but the whole part where they're like oh yeah um streamers cost us money we can't give you 70 30 that's there's a bunch of stuff there that was kind of uh, a load of crap like the part where they started citing down how much uh, a stream costs them They own all the servers. Well, they don't. Like, even though Amazon is their parent company, they still have to purchase stuff from them. However, like, they failed to mention that. Like, they wouldn't be paying normal consumer rates. And even if Amazon wasn't their parent company, like, the way it works, right, is there are enterprise agreements. It's, it's for someone using a service at the size at which Twitch does... They would be getting a volume discount. That's what happens with those kind of services. Like, the company I work for, for fuck's sake, we're not a big company, but we still get a discount on the Amazon services we use because we use them in a, a big enough quantity that they're like, yeah, we'll throw you a discount. But there they were, like, going, nah, this is what one stream costs us. It's like, yeah, that's what one stream costs when you ignore the fact that Amazon is your parent company. And you have millions upon millions of streams. If you were to say this website only hosts one stream ever, then yeah, that's what it would cost you. Anyway. Not to get bogged down into it, but like... I already was starting to think about, uh... Trying out YouTube for a while, but that was kind of the nail in the coffin. Just like how out of touch that blog post was. Like, that pay cut thing will never affect me, right? Because it only affects the top 1%, but it's more the principle of the thing. Where it's like, really? That's, that's what you're saying. Damn it. So I'm going to try it out next month at some point. And we'll see how it goes. I'm, all I'm hoping for is that my regulars watch me, and that'll be enough. By the way, for those of you that have never tried to watch a YouTube stream, here's something that I learned about it. Did you know that streamers can completely disable ads on YouTube if they want to? <laughs> Think about that for a sec. The moment I heard that, I was like, wait, what? That I, th I thought, okay. 
Used to stream on YouTube pre-2017, okay. YouTube streams are awkward to set up. They have improved quite a bit. They're still clunky, but not as clunky as they used to be. And honestly, if it's the case of I can stream at a better bandwidth and I can disable ads completely, it's a win. Oh yeah, and of course my regulars watch me. Then it's a win. It's pretty much... Why wouldn't I do it? Like, I'm not... I'm not one to be in it for, uh, money, because it's not a full-time job for me, this. This is just a hobby. So... YouTube is a better platform than Twitch if you want to grow. Oh yeah, no, especially for the s small streamer side, like... The problem with Twitch is it kind of has discoverability issues in multiple ways, but the big one kind of is that if you're trying to do something outside of, like, playing a game, you're kind of screwed. I'll, I'll give you an example for me, right? Uh, last weekend, I used, uh, I don't know if you've seen that AI that generates Pokemon with a text prompt. So I was like, alright, it'd be cool if I did a stream where I try to make a Pokedex with it with chat. But here's the problem with that. It, because that's not technically a game, I have to stream to just chatting. And so, just chatting is just full of a bunch of stuff, right? So, like, anyone that's interested in Pokemon or AI has, like, close to zero chance of finding the stream because it's just amongst all this other stuff. So, I mean, that's one issue I take with it. But, I mean, for anyone that has streamed... Um, they'll know that, like, getting any sort of growth on Twitch is really hard nowadays, compared to people that, uh, I guess, started their streams at the right time. There's just so many people doing it. And this is the experience for most people, is, let's say you want to find a new streamer to watch. This is what you're going to have to go through. You're going to go to a game... You're gonna scroll down, and there's no thumbnails or anything to kind of give you a hint of quality. It's kind of just, you'll see a video feed for the most part. You'll click on a stream, an ad will load, if you don't have ad blocking, let's just assume you don't. It'll play for a minute, and then you might arrive at a time where, like, maybe not, not a whole lot's happening. But that doesn't mean that the stream is bad, that's just the nature of streams, like... In a four-hour time slot, honestly, you can't have exciting stuff happen constantly. So, that's pretty much the experience. Is like, you have to wait a minute to kind of commit to finding out if a person's worth it. And even then, like, it might not give you a good idea of it. Versus YouTube, where you search for something that you're interested in. You'll see a thumbnail, so if the person's gone to the effort of, like, making a decent thumbnail, that's already, like, indicative of how much effort they're putting in. Maybe not always. And, uh... Yeah, like... If it's not live content, you'll see something that's been edited, and you can kind of see, okay, this is what this person's about. And if they're live, you can click and see if they're, if they're live. And that is the better experience for someone that wants to find new stuff to watch. You would make static content, but you're not into editing videos. Yeah, I mean... It's not too bad to do them, like... One way you could do it is... Just treat your content as videos and kind of structure them as so, and then it's less of a pain in the ass. But I mean, eventually, um, most content creators have to pay someone to do it. Like, that's just reality. I do my own content because, like, I study that stuff in university, so I can, I can do it. But it's time-consuming, and it's definitely a pain, so I understand anyone that doesn't want to do it.
most of your YouTube content is one shot, one take stuff. No, that's, yeah, that's that's definitely valid. Like it, it believe me, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Having I've been in scenarios where I've uh, I forgot what this does. I've been in scenarios where I've had to edit content for some people and get them to do takes, and ugh, it can be painful. Video editors are too overwhelming for you to use. Oh, really? Like, in what regard? I mean, with me, I've only been doing this for, like, five years. And it's only now <laughs> that I'm kind of like, I guess if I want to have some semblance of growth, I should probably get someone to help me with videos. So, one of my moderators has, like, offered to help with some of the shorts that I'm going to make. But, I mean, for the most part, like, I'm doing the rest of the stuff myself. Why are they not dead? You don't know what to do, so many windows, so many buttons. Uh, I mean... You don't need all of them. If you want an easy editor, I mean... If you're on the Mac, Final Cut's pretty good. It can be as simple and as complex as you want it to be. Did I win last night? I did. Hello, Queen of Laura. How's it going? What if Amazon lowered the hosting cost of Amazon? <laughs> Tell you what. Go ask uh, Papa Bezos if he wants less money. And then... Yeah, see. See the response. What if what if millionaires had less money? What if multi billionaires had less money? Oh man. It's alright, like the way it's gonna go is they keep on their current trajectory on bad announcements and just, like, perception. The next year is going to be interesting because YouTube is picking up its game with streaming. How am I? I'm doing alright. Just wrapped up work and now just trying to get uh, the greedier completion. Uh, let's get this. I will probably go back to regular runs, just... I felt like doing this for now. As it is something I need to do with this character. This is a- this is an actual run, though. It's just... <laughs> it's just different. Sound like as if greed's not legitimately a run. I mean, I can- I could definitely see why not, because... It's easier to break the game in greed, but... Quints. Uh, they're not bad. I'll pick them up. Less surprises. I guess that's true. You don't get the planetarium or anything like that. Uh. Anyway, to, to, I guess, wrap up the discussion. Oh, uh, you- sorry, you leave something called Shotcut because you can't afford to spend anything more than zero dollars. Uh, I forget the name of this other program that's really good. But it's made by DaVinci. I think it might even just be called DaVinci, hold on. But, like, people swear by it. Hold on. DaVinci video editing. Yeah, DaVinci Resolve. That's the one. They have two versions. They have a free version and a licensed version. The, the, the licensed version is, like, intended for Hollywood producers. 
but the free version does the job. Oh, you know what it is? Okay, fair, fair. But yeah, I guess watch how many more of the larger streamers move on to YouTube over the next few months, especially since some of them are getting a pay cut on Twitch. Oh, that's what that does. Interesting. You've been prepping to migrate to YouTube for over a year now. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll see you on there because I'm going to try it uh, next month. But I'm setting up, uh, like, shorts and stuff to have uh, some content there to begin with. And since shorts get good traction currently, I'm hoping that it'll it'll work. I don't know. And ev even if it doesn't, it's kind of like if all my regulars are there and it's fine. It's just some. It's gonna be something with a better video player and it doesn't have ads. Like I feel like I, I'm gonna win either way, but we'll see. YouTube scares you. I know what you mean. I definitely have some concerns over it, particularly like one thing that's been happening quite a bit lately is uh, YouTube is flagging videos as like uh, adult only, so then they don't even get recommended anymore. And uh, as someone that has a, a tendency to swear quite a bit, and like any good Australian will often um, in frustration sometimes use the C word as an adjective. It's it's not great. <laughs> I've been trying to be a bit better about it. Like, almost like pretending that I'm at work and not using the word at all. But there's other stuff as well. I think that there's need to improve the browsing experience for live streams, which I'm sure they're doing. It's just those things take time. Hang on, I can't read the text right now. I'll read, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read chat message in a minute. I have to neglect. Ugh. Neglect. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Um. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Hey, I don't. I mean, I it's, I haven't had much experience in in that kind of realm of things, Aona. Like, I, I'm not sure how it's like over there, with regards to live streaming and content. But <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess the way to look at it is, like, if you do believe that Twitch is going to die eventually, then they will have to adapt. Or at least if they, in the short term, if they want to attract more people, they will have to adapt. I don't know. You would not feel comfortable chatting on YouTube. A Google account ban would be horrific. <laughs> What would you what would you say in a stream that would get you your whole Google account banned? Come on, it wouldn't be that bad. If you behave yourself, it's fine. Oh, these portals are weird. Silly Bears gets drunk sometimes. Okay, yeah, might not be the best idea. But then I guess you kind of treat it like texting while drunk. It's like you can you can risk it, but it could lead to some very bad shit. I think the I think the issue with Twitch is I don't think they're gonna fix their discoverability in time. 
I think that's what I'm feeling. I just don't think they're going to do it in time because... What was it? It was like that article on Bloomberg that came out was talking about, um... The person in charge of Twitch right now, like, a lot of staff have just said that the dude's kind of out of touch with content creators. And is just pushing... Stuff that makes the company more money in the short term, as opposed to thinking about the long term. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't... I don't believe that they're going to... ...to get it right. They have Amazon behind them. Yeah, but... ...again, that... <sighs> it's a question of whether they will or not. I don't... I don't believe they will. Given... ...that they have the opportunity to try it. And they... Abandoned it. So it's kind of like, instead of deciding to make uh, a decision in the long term, back then, they're only really going to make it now because it'll be like, crap, TikTok is catching up. Crap, YouTube is catching up. We need to do something now. And when it's like that, it's kind of like the beginning of the end. It's when you sit too comfortably and think that you don't need to innovate. <laughs> That's when shit generally goes south. Particularly if you're in the position of being an incumbent, which Twitch is in the live streaming space. Like, consider the case of Blackberry and the phones they used to make. Like, they laughed off Android and iPhone saying that they would never really pose a threat to BlackBerry because BlackBerry had the instant messenger that everyone relied on. Now look where they are. <laughs> They're gone. They got too comfortable and then when they tried to make a recovery, it was too late. Like, people had already swapped and what they made, it was just like playing catch up. They were trying to play catch up instead of like creating something unique. And, yeah, they just died. And I got the feeling that's where Twitch is heading. They're just gonna get into this position where they're gonna play catch-up and try to prevent bleeding out content creators going to TikTok and YouTube. And then that'll be it. I don't know. I mean, either way, if I'm wrong, hey, it's YouTube. Like, as if YouTube's gonna die. It's not like Mixer, <laughs> where it's just like, that collapsed on itself pretty quickly. It's YouTube we're talking about at the end of the day, so it's... At the very least, like, if I- whatever I do on YouTube, it still remains there, because I already put content up there anyway. So it's not really a waste of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. <sighs> All right. Yeah, we'll say the next. Yeah, should be pretty interesting. See what happens. I know of a few small streamers that I follow that have made the switch to YouTube streaming, and... It's a mix between, like, some of them are doing about the same, and some of them have done quite a bit better. I have yet to hear of anyone that regretted the decision. So take that as a grain of salt. Uh, huh. No, but this... Okay, this doesn't work, right? I have to look this up. 
black crown. Hold up. I'm pretty sure it's the blue crown is the one that's a good one to grab if you don't have health, technically. Black crown, Isaac. Uh, item does not affect the last. Alright, cool. Yep, so it's blue crown. Just making sure. I'm gonna sacrifice my little friend because I just don't... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I got something that's useless. Alright, consume. I mean, it's alright. He wasn't doing much anyway. He's just putting these portals down, which are kind of distracting. Okay. Alright, if I was to, like, take a quick survey, who th here thinks that Twitch will eventually die? And by eventually, I mean, like, let's say the next five years, do you think they're gonna start struggling a bit? I- I kind of believe that in the next five years, it's gonna happen. You do? Alright, that's two of us. 100% within three months, damn silly bear. But see, and that's, if there's already, like, a, that kind of sentiment amongst a chat here, then yeah, I mean, there's got to be some truth to it. Up. You had it confirmed a few months ago by someone who heard it from some, wait, by someone who heard it from someone that works at Twitch, that line. It's like a friend of a friend. <laughs> Yo, I swear this is a true story. I heard it from a friend of a friend of mine. No, but I mean, I believe it. There's... People that are kind of in the business of, uh... I feel like that shot's gonna mess me up. Like, they're in the business of social media marketing, I guess is what it is, and... A lot of them are saying the same thing. And it's got nothing to do with whether they've heard something. It's just... The signs are there. It's just a question of whether they recover or not. Alright, I'll do like a couple more and then I'll, I'll swap to normal runs. For a little bit. I mean real runs. Swap to real runs. You think Twitch needs to rapidly adopt the short-form feed content? Yeah. Straight up, they need to resurrect what... ...what they were doing in 2019, but put it on a phone. They had the answer the whole time, it's just for whatever reason... ...they just decided to abandon it. They can do this very easily with slash fast. I don't know. If they could, I feel like they would've already. It's not like this is something that has started popping up this year. Like, I feel like the last three years have been that. And they haven't acted on it. That's why I'm, I'm pessimistic about it. I think that the priority should be mobile, just because there's a higher percentage of people watching short-form content on mobile. I was actually researching some of that stuff today, like LinkedIn, for example, it's 53% of people browse LinkedIn on mobile. And I would imagine anything that's feed-based, the percentage is higher. It should definitely be both, but if they were to pick, like, we need to get this out now and we need to get it out quick, get it on mobile first, then worry about desktop. It's just, yeah, the numbers are more in mobile's favor when it comes to short form content.
How is it not profitable? I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna pretend to know. All I all I know is the cost of like storing video is is expensive. That's the one thing I do know. And that's why Twitch doesn't host VODs for that long. Consider this, there's something like six million people streaming, right? It's something around those lines, would you believe it? Six million people streaming, let's say, on average, they stream three days a week for four hours, twelve hours. They earn the storage, but that doesn't mean it doesn't cost them money. Like, that's that's a weird way to think about it. That would be like, our employees don't cost us money because they're our employees. There's still time and effort and everything that goes into it. And the stuff that you don't think about, like electricity costs, and to name one. Transfer of data, backup of data. Because I would imagine they would have stuff like redundancy. Like what happens if one of the, a computer goes down? They have to bring it back up with another one and move the data across. Like, not to go too far into the <laughs> economics of it all. But, you'd be surprised how much it would cost. Ayana's got the right idea, like, servers for data cost, uh, yeah, upwards of 100k. But yeah, when you factor in that there's like about 6 million people streaming, and it would be like roughly 12 hours of footage a week. Per person. Like, it, it's insane. Uh, probably these ones, because they're piercing shots. Okay. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try and question how much it costs them. But I don't believe it's to the extent where, like, they can't make the split better. But I guess that's the thing. It's like, it does cost them, but I still believe they could do the 70-30 split. That's all. Nice. Very good. Very good pickups. I'm just a dude on the internet, so I <laughs> take this as it as you will. Like it's just it's my opinion that they can. But of course they will defend the fact that they can't. Great. Yeah, I have experience in understanding data center inner workings, but not enough to say you're an expert. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, some of the stuff around costs as well, like, just based off, uh, I guess the industry I work in is, like, software as a service, so... I do hear them talking about that stuff. So, uh, I know of, like, some of the... the costs that people might not think about in terms of running a service.
that doesn't give me an extra charge, it just consumes it. So, alright, let's try again. Anyway, good talk, because hearing that other people kind of have the perception that Twitch is having problems and are sort of uh, on their way out, that's kind of reassuring that I'm making a good decision to give the YouTube stuff a try. So I do appreciate the conversation quite a bit. Honestly, all YouTube needs to do is just make the chat experience better, and I, th I think they've got it. And just being able to browse live content a bit easier. How's the run going? I mean, I died several times, but this one seems to be going okay. I'll probably switch to, quote, <laughs> real runs. I'm just teasing. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll just save my money for now. I'm like a dark baby. Oh no. No, 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 no. Get get that thing off. You'll be back when you aren't talking about platforms too close to work. I'm sorry. It, some of this kind of hits close to work as well for me, but... if I guess if, if you're doing streaming, like, this is kind of the thing that's on most streamers' minds at the moment. So it's definitely something that I wanted to talk about because I wanted to see how other streamers are feeling about it. It's alright, I think we're kind of done with the conversation, I think. I think we got it out of our system. I just express my appreciation for people indulging me. Justice. You just finished a game called... Tinykin should play it if I like 3D platformers. I do. Let me uh, Google Tinykin. What? It, what does this artwork remind me of? I feel like it's a cartoon show. You know, what? it's kind of it's kind of got Invader Zim vibes to it. Like the dude on the front is the guy trying to catch Zim. Oh, the graphics are not what I expected. Interesting. Alright, I'll add it to a wish list. Uh, yeah, thanks for the recommendation. I'll add it to my Steam wish list. <laughs> You are going to add some more to the convo about junkets and such. Junkets and such? What do you mean? Okay, movement speed- ah! <laughs> Fuck. Movement- I was about to say my movement speed is bad that I might die. Mid-sentence and I just got two-shotted by the- <laughs> I hate it when I do that to myself, like- I can- I almost- it's almost like I have a premonition, and I'm like, this is about to happen, and then it, it does, mid-sentence. <sighs> Alright, let, let me give greed a little bit of a rest. Negative ten! 
I think we've had enough. <laughs> no, no, we do normal runs. Still playing as the lost just now. I want to achieve something else. There's two things I have left to achieve on the lost. Gradia and uh, Delirium, which both are going to be an effort. You're hungry? Go get some food, Aona. What are you doing? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Don't just sit here and talk to me about the state of social media platforms. <laughs> get some sustenance. She has no food. What? No. What do you mean? You have food if you consider your ramen food. I mean, I, I lived off that shit when I was in university, so... <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. I have some of the, yeah, the instant ramen or noodles, I guess, if you're from Australia. Uh, that I used to eat when I was in university because when I was at my brother's last time my dad went to an Asian grocery and just bought some and he's like yeah I'm like ah I haven't had these in 10 years it's like yeah they're good just take them like, alright so not gonna lie I've had some late night snacks that involve taking some leftover meat putting it into the noodles and then yeah making like a nice soup out of it but winter's kind of over so the urge to do that has reduced i'll give this a go i just realized this could lead to something really good it just depends if the item shows up or not Hold on. Can't read chat. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Uh, she has a memory foam that a cat licked and made a wet spot on. So Silly Bears is now upset that you sleep on an unrecovered memory foam mattress. I mean, listen, I, I slept on a hand-me-down queen-size bed until my late 20s when uh let's just say i broke the bed and that's when i decided to be an adult and buy myself a real bed amongst other stuff that a person my age should probably have looked into buying instead of having a, a computer that <laughs> is worth more than my car but you know the priorities like it's fine as long as you can sleep on it it's okay Late 20s, old man. Pfft. I wish I was in my late 20s. I've gone into my, I've gone into my dirty 30s, but, you know. The way things are these days, 30s is the new 20, honestly, in terms of life progression. I mean, I, I personally blame the avocado toast, you know? We just went all in on that shit, and now here we are in our 30s, not really able to do much. But damn it if it isn't delicious. Oh, sorry, what item goes well with homing tears? Uh, there's... If I were to get brimstone, it would be a... A, uh targeted brimstone that goes on an angle but there's a devil room item i know the symbol i can't remember the name but it effectively does this weird thing to your shots so they kind of heat seek but they also try to collide with things on the way so if you have brimstone and that your shot kind of just auto targets between enemies it's I've had it once and it was really good and I took note of it. Never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> Where in Australia am I? Uh, I'm in Melbourne. 
So, as far as Australia goes, it's not bad. It could be worse. I could be in Sydney. But, you know. It's alright here. Don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, we're not that far behind, so... I can't exactly get on my high horse about that one. You know what the solution is? Just just move to Melbourne. Simple. I wouldn't say move to, like, Brisbane or Adelaide, because who the fuck wants to live in Adelaide? <laughs> but if you want a city that's similar and less shitty in terms of traffic... I didn't- you, you will note that I used the- I didn't use the word good, I just used the word less shitty. Melbourne's a perfect uniform grid and it's great. You miss a turn, take the next one. Sydney, there's like a- a bit of a wildcard situation happening, especially if that bridge is involved. You're in Brisbane thinking stuff out in Ipswich was overpriced. Nah. But I mean, Brisbane is getting there. <laughs> I have a friend that moved from Adelaide to Melbourne. And the, the wildest thing that I heard that I didn't know... So... In South Australia, they have this highway that, depending on the time of the day, goes in one direction. And I just- I found that concept just ridiculous. <laughs> like, what do you mean? A main road that only goes in one direction, depending on the time of day? I just think of a, a busiest freeway, like, only going in one direction. You didn't know that? Yeah, that was a bit of a shocker to me, and then... Ah, oh, it was funny, when he was here for the first time. And we were at a train station waiting to catch a train, and when he saw that the trains came every, like, eight minutes in the city... Kind of blew his mind a little. Don't, 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 don't touch. Cries in Sydney public transport. Listen, I would take Sydney public transport for two reasons. One, you actually have a train to the fucking airport. We don't. Two, you can pay with contactless payment. Do you know what happened here in Melbourne? We f we spent like how much was it? Like you will. <laughs> I'm so angry at it, but how much did it cost to make? 1.5 billion dollars on a ticketing system that was broken for the first two years of its rollout. And even still, like, we have to purchase these stupid cards. And only Android, uh, only Android gets to be able to pay. Because Apple refuses to give them, like, permission to have a Mikey card on there. So, say what you will. <laughs> I'd rather that. Like, how, how insane does that sound? $1.5 billion on a ticketing system. Oh, this is gonna be good. You couldn't tell you the last time you could public transport, you drive everywhere. That's fair. I took public transport because driving was kind of a pain in the ass from where I used to live. Um, and then I moved to the city and now I don't drive anywhere, basically. I'm like an old lady. 
<laughs> just take the car out on the odd trip to the shops and that's about it. Everything else, just take a tram and yeah, it's easier. You don't have public transport where you live. Ah, so are, are you in one of those uh, newer suburbs where the housing developers basically haven't planned shit? They're like, yeah, just keep the road one lane. Don't worry about it. We can worry about it when there's millions of people living here. Don't worry about a bus. We can worry about that until millions of people are living here. That's the situation of where I used to live. It was kind of like just a mess. Oh, you go against traffic when you drive. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I had to go towards traffic. I can't. I can't do it to myself. It's just. It's too much. I think it would be fun if you had someone in the car with you. It's just when you're on your own and you've had a long day and you're in traffic. Ugh, it sucks. At least on the train, I could catch it at the terminus and just kind of sleep on the train. <laughs> I I can sleep anywhere. Wait, how many tickets are there? What, here? This is just, just Mikey, that's it. It's just a card that you top up. Just think of it as like one of those old prepaid phone cards. Oh, ticket inspector, sorry. Yeah, constantly. There's, there's heaps. We also have PSOs, which are like, almost like ticket inspectors. They dress like police, but they're not police. You very rarely get stuck in slow traffic, so I guess that's why you enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I would rather take a route that takes longer, but you're constantly moving, as opposed to one that takes a shorter amount of time, but then maybe you're standing still for extended amounts of time. Can they arrest you or can they just yell at you? So I believe, and I'm not a lawyer, so don't, if you're Australian and listening to this, just just disregard it as this is like any sort of legal advice or, or like, I know that they don't, they have the power to detain, but I don't believe they have the, the arresting powers, so to speak. And generally speaking, if you're, like, being a public nuisance, they will call the real police. I think most of their powers kind of come from, like, enforcing fines and being able to ask for ID. More or less. I mean, they tried to make it look like as if they were about public safety, but... I don't know, dude. I've, I've never seen them break up a situation ever. They're always just harassing students, <laughs> just asking them for ID and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they had quotas. Yeah, it's nothing. You know, this is probably the most Australians I've had in chat ever. <laughs> it's, it's kind of refreshing. I mean, at any given one point, like, there's usually one floating around, but definitely never had multiple at once. <laughs> Fuck yeah, cunt. Yeah. Oops, I mean, sorry, sorry, YouTube, please don't age-restrict this video because I said cunt. Oh, no. Do 
The Americans find it hilarious when I just use cunt as an adjective. Like, if I get angry at something, I'll just prefix it with cunt. What? What was that? <laughs> what was that? It was like a massive brap across the room. Oh no. I don't have keys. Really? Really? You're going to give me more items I can't actually pick up? Okay, but this is a pretty good start, all things considered. Okay, let's go. I just gotta hope for the one item that will make this a guaranteed win. I look beautiful because of the lipstick, thank you. Which item? Uh, Nord Leaf. Which mimics the Super Mario Brothers story thing. Where you turn into a statue. And nothing can damage you as long as you stand still. Straight up I will just stand still and the spider foot will kill everything. I'm gonna consume for stats. Black That's unfortunate. Pick it up so I guarantee devil deals and then put this down. Hopefully Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I should stop using the word hopefully because my dreams get shattered immediately. Yeah, no, nah, that's not happening. The only thing is, if I do get it, it, it will probably turn into a very boring run. Just fair warning. Though, the foot is pretty strong. It won't take that long. Just generally speaking, when you resort to that tactic, the run goes for over an hour. <laughs> and you're kind of just standing still a lot of the time. A win is a win. True that. <laughs> it says the Dota player, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll grab that. It's fine. That is a fun game, but I just I couldn't do it to myself anymore. Every now and then I will, like, maybe look into a tournament and watch it, just... I mean, that stuff is fun, but in terms of playing it... Oh, dude, it's just... <laughs> Sometimes after work, I just like to put stuff on that doesn't stress me out. And that game can stress me out. I don't know, like, sometimes people are the worst, I guess that's the way I'd put it. Used to play Isaac and you're too lazy to look us up. What is the chance of poop dropping something? 
I don't know the exact number, um, but, you know, always the trinket will eventually appear, which then the odds become pretty much like one in three. Something along those lines. I'm probably wrong as well, like maybe it's changed, but... I know that the trinket is definitely the thing you want. Aha, well, so this has now become... Wait, what? It doesn't work with runes anymore? When the f when did they change that? Okay, but I'll get the Joker card, that's fine. Free devil deals every time, that's fine. You know of a good streamer, and who would that be, Queen of Laura? By the way, can I just call you Laura? Is that easier? It's so hard just reading people's internet names sometimes. Sure, alright. Nice. Yes, who would that be? Wouldn't happen to be someone you know personally, would it? <laughs> I kind of gathered you were talking about yourself. Yeah, I mean, I, I did drop a follow, so... If I am ever in the mood and around and not streaming, I'll watch. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, silly bear. Okay, uh, I don't have anything that's really luck related. But I mean, this is always worth taking with the Lost. Okay. Well. Damn it. <laughs> the useless crown. Ooh. No, I don't have a key. <laughs> I don't have a key. Why oh, useless? So the way this crown works is when you are down to one red heart, it activates. Unfortunately for characters that don't have red hearts like this one, it never activates, so it's it's useless. Yeah. It's just one of these items that's redundant, more or less, on this character. It's not that the item in general is useless. Look, it, it is useful. It's just... I... Okay. I'm not sure if this rune bag counts as a summon. Oh no, 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 no! Stupid Krampus. Okay. Alright. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sticking to the card mimic. I'm hoping that... Stop it. The rune bag will give me... A Perthro rune, and then I can change the item, but I'm not holding my breath. Okay. Really? They're bad items. <laughs> I'm not getting good items. I still need keys.
Mm. Did I not need a key for the book room? I did, but... You can get a bad book room. So I kind of figured... The treasure would be better, because I don't think I'm going to swap any book, really. For what I have. What I have guarantees me a devil deal every floor, which... Is probably better in the long run. Yeah, okay. No, this is good. Because this will turn the item into a devil deal. Um, I don't think I want to use that one. Okay, that'll do. Don't touch it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no, no, okay. It's the curse, it's the curse. I thought I was going crazy. The curse shuffles uh, positioning of items and stuff just to mess with you. So that chest I got is somewhere else right now. Okay. They must have nerfed this because it's not doing what it used to. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's enough. That's so annoying. That's another one of these changes they've done for the sake of making the game harder. Oh, well. Okay. Unless there's a rune mimic item, then that would make sense, but... Oops, I did use both keys I had. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, that could do some good. Alright, there's not a whole lot of point in... I'll just leave it. If nothing else, it's gonna fix the problem I have with keys. Ooh, that almost... Go oh! Oh! Okay. Jeez. I'm alright. Yes. That's a huge item. Um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get a rune to re-roll anything, but... Now I don't need to waste keys. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards this, just raw damage. This is nice to be able to see inside chests, because now if I do get a Yara to duplicate, I can pick a good one to do it on. Pill Mimic. That is worth getting because it's just straight up money. <laughs> oh 
Okay. <laughs> That's fine. The stars. I may as well just use this as a shortcut to go back. Come on, make this worth my time. Make this worth my time! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, it happens. I probably shouldn't have bothered. Okay, this is going to be useful. That's just pills. Okay. I'll leave it there. That's interesting. I can't really tell if that's going to have an item on the inside, but... In the interest of making this more worth it. money, so it's not all bad. Just wish it would have been an item that would have been good. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, I'm risking it. Yeah, now I have 12 keys. I don't need to worry. Alright. Sunken cost fallacy. Look, yep. <laughs> Leave it there, just in case I can re-roll it. Don't touch it. Hopefully the rune bag will... ...will give me... ...a re-roll. Uh-oh. So, aside from Isaac and Dota, what kind of other games do you enjoy, Laura? Hang on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what, what games do people play here? That was... what was that? Oh, no? Huh? Well, duplicates just one item. Oh, no, but it's because it's weakened, that's why. It's a rune shard. I see. I am the dumb. Hey! You're almost asleep. Never heard of that game before. I'm kidding, by the way. <laughs> just... Just in case. I may have said that a little too deadpan. I'm sorry, I, I can't help myself sometimes. I've been watching too much Nathan Fielder.
What time is it? Oh, it's only nine. Okay, I thought it was later. It definitely feels like later, but that's just... Daylight Savings doing its thing. No reroll. Alright. You sleep early? Fair enough. That's a pretty uncommon thing here on Twitch. I feel like... To sign up to Twitch, you have to acknowledge that you have sleep problems sometimes. Wait, the contents changed. That's so bizarre. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, sleep medication, got it. That makes sense. It's become pretty commonplace these days. <laughs> you do belong here, yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to say that you didn't, it's just... Okay. Okay! There it is. You got nine attempts at this. This is... this is maybe the run. I say this because, like, I have a large amount of people that just kind of turn up to just chill. Apparently, despite the, the noises I make sometimes, I do have a calming voice. Wait. I just change it. Like, what am I doing? Make it worth it. Make it worth it. There we go. And then what I'll do... I'll use the Joker card to escape the fight. Aha! Aha! Galaxy Brain. <laughs> You're here for the Isaac? Fair enough. It's a good thing I'm so stubborn. I just have the urge to progress this game constantly. I know it's gonna slow down. Oh, nice. Perfect. Hang on. Uh. Stop it. It's gonna slow down when I start doing some of the more difficult new characters, but I mean, for now. I try to do something every day. Just thankful that I have an out now. Uh, this is okay. Wait, there's a shop. Was there anything in the shop that was worth it? Aha. Uh, thankful that I have just a way out. <laughs> As if a fight 
becomes too tedious, I just teleport out with the devil card. It's sort of... I'm using it as a failsafe at the moment. So, like, if I eat a hit too early, I can just teleport out, which is kind of nice. On top of the nine lives, like, it's just... It's a nice and easy way to reset the fight and not waste a life too soon. What did you think I said? Okay. Ooh. Alright. Don't know. Fair. Duality. I guess there's no harm. I wonder how it works with the card. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> how does it work with the card? Do devil rooms still get prioritized or is it now like a 50-50 split? I don't know, like, as nice as this is, right now my tears aren't really doing a whole lot. <laughs> you know, play this game. I'm sorry, like, I, sometimes I'm just... ...asking stuff, thinking out loud, so... There's not too much dead air. You're just being cheeky. Oh, well. I see how it is. Wait. Okay. one again? This is just re-roll room, right? Yeah, it's just repeat the room. Which, I mean... You could argue later on that does bring value because it gives you another chance to get a chest from an item room, but I don't know. You don't play this game, but I mean, I'm sure I think at a certain point you would have seen enough of it to start to, like, be able to say things. Actually, back in the day when I first started streaming this, there was someone that had never played this game before, really, themselves, but had a wealth of knowledge because they, they'd they watched it enough. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, that's what I was waiting for. So now I can see that has an item. So now that I have that knowledge... What item did I get? Wait. That's weird. It's not going to give me the same item twice. I get the feeling it's going to change the moment I open it. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. 
and just do a full clear of the floor and hopefully get a second one. Because then that'll become four items if I do. I'm not sure if I should back out of this. It's just monster, like. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't touch that. I mean, honestly, the way you learn in this game is just trial by fire. Or you watch people make enough mistakes that you know not to make that same mistake yourself. Should be fine, just stay in my little corner. I doubt it's gonna give me another rune. I guess I'll fight the boss. Ooh, that was a little concerning. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I do... Wait, what's that in there? Oh, it's just... It could possibly be something that duplicates. Let's see. It wasn't. <laughs> okay. Alright, I mean, I, I got a bonus item, so that's nice. Yeah, so it changed. There it is. Thanks, game. Another rune shard. Ah, oh, that was the duplicate one. Oh, well. All right. <sighs> Nice. Uh, eh, I guess. Alright, out we go. And there's the transformation completed. Nice. I got my damage source. This, this is working. Something's wrong. It's looking good. I might be at... Ah, oh, but you know what? The only variable is whether or not that stupid portal opens. Oh, I'm gonna be so annoyed if it doesn't open. Wait, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay, nothing. Ah, oh, oh, if it doesn't open, that's... I'm gonna be so sad. What portal? The portal to Delirium, one of the bosses. It has a chance to appear here, on the next floor, and the floor after. So there's three chances. And if I don't get it, then... Yeah, I, that's it, I can't get to him. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay. 
so that would that'd be very bad if uh, that were to happen. Donate keys. Uh, and I guess I could. I'm just thinking if I'm going to need them later. And I got 41. Tell you what, I'll let fate decide if the dude eats... I'll let him eat half my keys. But any more than that, and I'm saying no. Oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 because it doesn't cost me keys to open. I forgot I had uh, money. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I only require money to open chests, so we're fine. Keys are irrelevant. So, I mean, that's nice. Another shield. Good call, good call. Yeah, I didn't get a reroll. Okay. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm not sure which one would give you more damage overall. I do have 99, but this one is good for stuff that spawns enemies. I'm just not sure. Hang on. Let me see which one's better. This is what I get for playing on a PlayStation. <laughs> the damage cap's at 3.96. So it's 3.96 maximum. For money is power. And then... What about this one? Sorry, I'm trying to find the icon. See, this is where I should remember the names of items. It'd be easier, but I have to look for them. It's called... Does it have the word lust in it? Yeah, it does. Cool. Lusty blood. Right, so this goes to plus five after ten kills. So this one gives more damage overall. Okay. On the condition that there's stuff to kill, which in general there is. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that because that has a guaranteed item, so I'm going to do a full clear. This is exactly why. Okay, let's see if we can get another one. That's why I have so many keys, is because I'm spending money instead of keys. I don't know why I didn't click sooner. Oh, thank you, Fear. <laughs> Scary face saved me. That thing was about to ram into me. Give me another Perthor. Sorry, Yara, not Perthor.
It's just a shielding one. What is with these double rooms? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, there's there's a few rooms left. I'm gonna I'm gonna full clear. It's only beneficial to do so. I really hope that this chain of chests that I've got in here. That is pointless, right? Yeah, it's pointless. <laughs> if that happens, then I've lost the run already. We're okay. <laughs> Jeez, that scared me a little. Throw. Okay. So I can re-roll the curse of the tower into something else. It just depends what this is. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna get it and then re-roll curse of the tower. Let's just be at max move. I hate- I hate this boss, I really do. Okay. <laughs> Almost got me. Really? <laughs> okay. I'm sticking to this because this is effectively a free reset. If I take damage too early, I can use it to teleport out of the fight and then come back in. So then I don't waste a life too early. Yeah, I accidentally ran into that. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay, it's just one dead cat life. You should probably slow down, huh? Imagine if I didn't have the dead cat, that would have been the end of my night. No portal. Alright. Last opportunity for a portal. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, is it? Uh okay, that's wait, why are there two necro? Well I guess I only got to pick one, so that's the one anyway. Okay, there she is. Yeah, 
Yes. Boo. Alright, we'll wait. Hopefully we can get a reroll. Okay, there's a reroll. Thank you. Okay, looking good. Thankfully, this synergizes now. Okay, nice. So far, so good. Oh, dude, please let me continue. I'm going to be so sad if this doesn't let me continue. Look at this. One more and I get fun guy. That's the only reason I took it. This is pretty strong. Okay, there's another change. I'm not gonna rush it, actually. Let me just wait until I... Okay, until I'm positive, so the, now I'm positive. It's okay, grab it. It has its purpose. So this is the last chance I get, assuming... Leave it for now. I'm so worried this is not going to let me continue. When did I lose a life? What? What do you mean? I didn't lose a life. I certainly didn't accidentally run into a, a beggar. Because I was moving so quickly. That definitely didn't happen. In your weakened state of being sleepy, you must be mistaken. Like, there is clearly a 9 on the screen right now, not an 8. Yes! <laughs> Alright. It's not gonna let me continue, is it? Like, this is just too good. This is why I, It's such a bummer. I wish there was another way to do this path. Guess we're done. All right. I need I need you to manifest me the portal. Just any any little bit of luck anyone can send my way, please do it. <laughs> we don't get. <laughs> I don't get to continue! Oh, this is what's so annoying about Delirium is... 
it's just not guaranteed unless you go through Hush, and at that point it's too early. With any other character it would be fine because you have health, but here it's just... And the only other way I can get this done is if I get the R key. The odds are the... <laughs> I hate this. I did it too quick before you could clover. Ah, that's what it was. My bad. I don't like doing angel stuff with the lost. It's just... I find that it just doesn't work as well. Okay, try again. This might this might be good if I get a key. I'm gonna do planetarium. Skip this first room since we got a li li library. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's only two rooms. You're a walk. I feel like... I don't know. There should be a, another way to get in there. It's not going to give me the key, is it? Where's the key? Key, please. That's not a key! Oh, See, this is a good item to have. This would be an amazing start if I could just please, please key. I don't think it's going to spit up enough coins for me to buy that, unfortunately. <laughs> ah. Okay, so... Ah, okay, there's the key. There's the key. Not completely worth it, but... Damn, it was the Bible. Um... Hold on, I think there was a battery in the store... Maybe? There is. Okay, it's not over. Okay. Well, this definitely changes things now. Oh, what? Oh, dark car? Speed up. I mean, okay, technically, I've never seen this before. There was no item in here. Gonna try and sleep. All right, Laura, no worries. Well, have a good night. Rest well. Thanks for popping in. See you next time. Is it just me or is my audio... Audio being weird.
Okay. Aha. All right. That's good. So I'm definitely going to do an item skip now because this is going to give me a couple bonus items. Since I get to restart the floor. Assuming that didn't mess me up, jeez. Okay. Come on, dude, no. I mean, I got, I got a win, technically. <laughs> That's just not what I wanted. Oh, why does that portal chance have to be so low? before this is health and it's nothing. Although I guess I could opt to repeat the next floor, not this one. Okay, no, it's a good item. It's a good item! Alright. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Hello, Sped GB. How's it going? I'm just going to bypass this item room and hope for a planetarium. Maybe my luck will change. Pretty good. Good to hear. I'm doing all right. Just trying to get my last two completion marks on the last but The game is refusing to give me the portal to delirium despite having good runs. I don't really want to go through Hush, because that's a bit of a wild card, but... Eh, I mean, I kind of wish the chances were a bit better, but... I haven't, I haven't had a run where I'm like, oh, this is obviously going to be so easy if I go to Hush. You suck at this game, so you have, like, no unlocks. Ah, that's fine. 
I mean, eventually you do get a combination that lets you win. That's, I guess, the good thing about this game. I suck at the, uh, the new boss. <laughs> just, it hasn't quite clicked with me yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Well... Wow, oh, okay. Oh, this is unfortunate. I can't take both with me. But at the... Is there any benefit? I don't think there is. I think I should just buy it. <sighs> I mean, okay. The way, the way to look at it... Look at... Hmm... No. Hear me out. Because we're playing as the loss, you only get to pick one devil item. Okay? So while so yes, Diplo... Would have, uh... Like... It can duplicate everything in the room. It's a single use, whereas in this... It would mean that I get two devil deal items every time it comes up. Which is better. As opposed to maybe hanging on to this for too long. If it was any other character, I would take Diplo, but because we're specifically the lost, this is better in the long run. It just means can take extra item. That being said, I should probably put the Diplo to use in whatever we get here, so I'll do that at least. I didn't want to risk getting the battery and then it was like a 50-50 chance and then I wouldn't be able to afford Diplo, so. Okay, it's a lock up, so two luck, whatever, that's fine. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. It's at the very least, yeah, plus two to luck. Had to consider that one carefully. Hey, okay. Kinda sucks about the curse, but other than that. I hate Dingle. When you have slow move speed, it just... This can be clench. Okay, all good. Ugh. Hopefully what? What I'm saying pays off. Oh, oh, thank you. It wasn't a mimic chest. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I mean, there's always a chance that the game is like, no, nah, we're just not going to give you devil deals. Unless it's 100%, there is always a chance that it doesn't give it to me. I mean, this one's guaranteed, so yeah, that's nice. But I just mean later on, it's just... I've had it happen to me. Oh, man. That's not cool.
Here's a golden razor and a hangman card. Go hang yourself. Jeez. I see how it is. This game is really dark if you think about it. I don't think you need to think about it too much. <laughs> it's very apparent immediately. Sorry, right. like not every not every run is a winner. For every run that I have like this, eventually I get one where I get like two 1% planetariums in a single run. It happens quite frequently and people get annoyed at me. Great, I got pushed in. Alright. <sighs> yeah, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I hate that boss just because of when it spawns enemies, they can shoot into you. That's one way it can kill you. And then exactly how it killed me there, where the gas shoves you into the other one. Like, I wish I could afford that. That's a good item for this character. It just means odds of getting guppy are pretty high. There's a few bosses that are just kind of obnoxious to get if you lack move speed at the start. That's one of them. Like the money game in Bumbo? I swear that ev every time in that fight he hits me at least once. No, I, I, I don't like that fight either. Always gets at least one shot off on me. I will straight up use- if I have bombs, I will straight up use them on him. And not waste time. It's one of those things where every second he's alive, he's gonna... Odds of him, like, doing a warrior charge into you... Increase. Though, if you do have money shot, just let him pick up the coins and then he eventually goes away on his own. That's one thing I learned. He picked up like three coins and then he went, okay, I'm done here. He's just after coin. So if you can give him coin, he will leave you alone. He just leaves, yeah. He, j he just leaves. I don't know what number of coins it is, but, uh... I want to say it would be seven, because I think it, he picked up, like, a silver one. But he he does leave. I was kind of surprised. Okay, well, regardless, <laughs> the next run will start with a brighter tomorrow. 
Restart? Nah, why? Like, for all you know, this one could be the one. Why would I restart? Just to find out, like, the item isn't guaranteed to be good. Nah, that's calling it- that's giving up way too early. Also... But it's fun? Yeah, but I'm gonna find out anyway. Also, I have one of these, five pennies and I get a hundred. <laughs> it's... Well, assuming there's a double room, but... If I get the dream catcher, then I can predict... ...better when to, like, go for the planetarium, so that's not bad. If I can get this combo to work. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, look, odds are I could die pretty easily anyway, so I don't see the point in rushing it. Speed. Especially if that's happening. Ah, oh, it sucks that this, this room is full of rock. I may as well give this run a try. Why well, don't I use the Eternal D6? I always like to keep it in reserve for item rerolls. Anything else is kind of just small potatoes. Alright. I'll buy it. <laughs> really? Okay. Let me do this, because this is going to clear a bunch of space. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. This might work out. This is just for maximum crap. Oh, it doesn't go in. Damn it. Alright. As long as I get the trinket early, please. Either way, I'm getting my money back. It's just whether or not I get the 15 required for the Dreamcatcher. Mm, didn't get it early this time. More than halfway through it. Three more, come on. Three. Two more. One more. Okay, still have coupon? No, I know. But this is just a plan B in case it fails. So, now I can... See? This is why. <laughs> now, I can, uh, just buy it. D6. No, but then I'd lose... I'd lose the coupon. I, why would I do that? No. Why would I lose the ability to gain an extra Devil Deal? Funny? Yeah, totally be funny to throw. It'd be extra hilarious if I just run into the Duke of Flies now. Cut the middleman out. Why did I have to get this variant, honestly? Shit. Oh, I was trying too hard to avoid it. Alright. Acid Shot is the item it gave me. Which... Okay. I'm not gonna say no to that. Yeah, I mean, it, it has a purpose. Uh, 
that I'm not to spend on bombs. It's also good for detecting uh, crawl spaces. Ah, uh, I suppose it's not even worth using, just... I was gonna... Really? <laughs> I was gonna go use it, but then... I was like, nah, I got acid shot, why do I need to? There's no way it gives me this thing a third time. Okay, thought so. Imagine getting a coupon in the same way three times in a row. One interesting thing I noticed because of the guppy's eye item is... If there's a coupon inside the keeper... And you buy an item, it disappears. So if you're gonna look for... If you're gonna basically bomb the keeper every time first, don't buy anything. Because it... If there's something on the inside, it appears like it disappears. That's just... That's just scary. Do the um heart first. Yep. I'm just gonna buy the battery. I mean, it's alright, that was a bonus item, as long as this one gives me something. I probably should have skipped this room, to be honest. Ah! Yes! Good. I'm gonna skip the next item room. Really again? Really? I don't think it's the same variant. Yeah, no, it's the same. It's the exact same one. Oh my God, I'm gonna have an aneurysm if the same thing happens again. Now fuck you. No, failed. I'm not about to try the exact same thing and expect a different result. Oh, that's a shame. There's nothing I can do about this. <sighs> okay. Alright. I'll take it. Definitely skipping this item room. Satanic Bible, please. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, I should have gone... Ah ha ha! Nice. Should have gone for the reroll. Okay, not quite. Yeah, I mean, I'm going for the the big guns here, which is getting Satanic Bible, so then... All the items are Devil Deal items in the treasure room. Okay, what I will do is take the Book of Belial into this and... Fight. That's what I'm aiming for, like... Yeah. There we go. This will be straightforward with this. Yep. Only range went down. Beautiful. It's, 
probably the best result I could have hoped for. Pretty much growing across the board, except in one stat, which is not that bad to lower it. All right, that was that was a good trade. All right, maybe health would have gone down if I had it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this is a sign of better days. GG! Because I've already seen the treasure room, it's not gonna apply here. At least I- well, there's no harm in trying, let's see. Does it apply it? It doesn't. So, from the next floor. But yeah, now... Devil deals everywhere. Ah, oh, and cheers for the follow. Uh, maybe I should charge the Eternal D6 anyway. Oh wait, sorry, yeah, wrong way around. It's boss items, you're correct. Not- I'm thinking of the trinket. It's boss items. I don't know why I said treasure. Either way, that's happening on this floor. Oh, I guess I don't need the Eternal D6 then. Put it back. The trinket would be sick, if I could get it. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. What trinket is it? It's like a red crown. Not the bloody crown, but it's, it looks like a bracelet, almost. But yeah, that makes treasure rooms devil deal items. So. I'm terrible with names, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Without going to- Oh, I have Platinum God open, actually. Because I had to look something up in terms of stat comparison. What's it called? So I, I know for future reference. I'll probably forget it. Oh, and thank you so much for that Prime sub as well. Appreciate it a lot, dude. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? It's in Repentance. Devil's Crown? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called the Devil's Crown. Yeah, I'm playing on console, so I don't have any mods. Um, I do own it on PC, but I wanted to start again. And also put my PS5 to a bit more use. So... Right, there's not there's there's nothing wrong with console, honestly. Like if you don't use mods that much anyway, it's no biggie. Guppy. Let's start that process. Yeah. 50-50 chance of if things go south, I, I can survive it, so that's a huge deal. Don't touch that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm sad about the more nerf as well. I've kind of said this about this content, is... I love a lot of the stuff they added, but I feel like some of the stuff they've done around balances is kind of just like... No fun allowed, making it harder for the sake of making harder. 
It kind of goes against why this game became popular in the first place. Like, the reason it rose to popularity was because people shared broken builds, and that's how the game kind of went viral, right? And to do a bunch of balance changes that kind of go against that and make it harder to achieve that, I don't know. Like, I get that some things needed to change. Like, there are there were items where it's like, okay, I understand. Like, Tech-X is one of those things that if you picked it up, you'd pretty much be guaranteed to win the run. Now it's like, yeah, it's still very, very good, but it's not like insta-win. But then there's things where it's just like, okay, you guys, this is just no fun allowed. Like, the blank card changes. It's like, okay. The fact that runes can't be used with the blank card. It's just a bunch of stuff where it's just like, yeah. We don't want them breaking the game. We don't want them doing the thing that made the game popular. So, I don't know. I still love the game, it's just, I think, I just don't, I don't like <laughs> that particular aspect that they've done with this. <laughs> Overall, it's great. Buddy in a box is overrated. I don't mind it. When it gives you a good shot, it gives you a good shot, but otherwise it's like, most of the time it won't be anything good. Uh, underrated. Yeah, no, I always pick it up. But, I thought you said overrated. Apologies if I'm not reading correctly. Like, sometimes I have to quickly get the gist of the message at a glance. So I might fuck it up. <laughs> but I do do my best to, like, not be too... Too enveloped in the game that I don't reach that. Like, I try to look every couple of seconds, and even if I do get it wrong, at the very least, I'm looking at chat. But yeah, I like Buddy in a Box personally, but I know a lot of people that don't. I can see why. But, like, it does. <sighs> There's ones that you can get, for example. That I've seen. There's a holy shot buddy in the box now, which is just nuts. Like. That. That tear effect is ridiculous. It goes off more than yours. And then before this, I mean, the money one was always great. But now it has so many new ones that just, I think, make it a top tier pick for the shop. better than most small streamers. Thanks. Appreciate it. I do try. Do try. Don't touch me. Alright. Yes, that's two buddies. No. Oh, the acid shot is kind of it's kind of screwing me up here. Oh, okay, we're good. Does body in a box count for conjoined? I'm pretty sure it does. It's technically a body. Um, I'm not gonna touch that chest, just in case it's a mimic. Just by walking up to it, I know, but like... <laughs> I've had kind of a long day and I don't want to fat finger it and then... It become like a stream moment, you know? 
Well, you hear the soul escape my body. If there's blood on the bottom left, it's a mimic. Huh. Okay. Ah, but, like, <laughs> that's the other thing. Subtle details. Sometimes I'm playing like a... Like a bull in a china shop. Okay. Let's see what this is. Alright. Alright. Uh... Huh. This could be good. Well, I'll do it once everything is revealed, because I, I want to see what the rest of it is, because I did skip an item room, so planetarium would be g game, you know? I will definitely do it, just... Let's just see what what is on offer first, because we don't want to reroll something that... No, that's a D6. That's not a character reroll. That's a D6. D2 or D100 is the character reroll. That's, uh, items on pedestals excluding the devil room. We'll reroll. Where's the acid shot? Why is- there we go. That's <laughs> just what- I didn't want to get near it because explosion. That was character reroll. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why. Now that's going to reroll into something else. See, oh, I see the blood. okay. But like... <laughs> it's gonna be a thing where even if I know that now, 9 out of 10 times, I'm just gonna run into the chest. I wouldn't have walked into the chest if... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good for our buddies. Yeah, I mean, what I'll usually do is walk in and out of the room before I open a, a chest. So, like, here, for example, I'll do this. Before even looking. It's just habit now. Oh, I'm gonna reroll that. Since Guppy is in the mix. Don't you dare. That's not going to be that beneficial. So we got multiple things that can re-roll. Which is great, given the dice room. I swear, the only thing missing now is like a black market. Yeah, there's also the treasure room as well. And who knows? Maybe planetarium. As there's two planetarium items that I... Well, one is useless, the other one would be a really bad idea if I picked it up. Just because it's... I don't like it. Oh yeah, right, I can just do that. Okay. No planetarium. I can't remember if I had done that yet, but I'll do it now. Okay. <laughs> I 
I, I'm, I, I was barely certain I wasn't shooting in the direction of the mushroom, but sure. What? How's, huh? What do you mean it's that what? Huh? How's that possible? It's there twice. I guess because I haven't picked it up, it leaves it in the item pool. I mean, look, it's fine, right? Like, I get to re-roll it. It's just weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ooh, okay. Alright, yeah, I mean... This is the kind of stuff that happens to me, kind of chaotic stuff. Okay, now we do this. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. It seems to have uh, prioritized stuff from the special pool. Alright, don't let me down. Let this be guppy. <laughs> Wait, he has a little shield now. Um... You know, I've never really gotten much use out of this item. It just, I always seem to lose them. Oh. Alright. Yeah, but that's... Uh, it's not worth giving that up, I don't think. So I just gotta let him survive. I don't think I've ever seen him with the mantle. But then again, maybe I've only picked them up with other characters. You have no idea what that thing is. Oh, it effectively spawns a boss for you, and you sort of become delirium. I guess it's nice that he has the shield, too. So, I guess the way this would work is if you had the holy mantle as well. He's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, this stupid curse. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm hopping up the gamma. I think that this curse should be removed from the game, in my opinion. If it's something that is that easy to overcome just by upping the gamma, it's probably kind of poorly designed. Uh -uh. Fuck. It's alright, we're safe, but I lost my... Ugh, this stupid thing. I keep getting things with dark bullets in a dark room. Like, what are the odds? Two rooms like that, back to back. I didn't really have anything that was taking advantage of the luck shot anyway, so it's, it's not too bad. But that was... Some real bad luck to get two rooms that just 
had these things teleporting around the room that were dark. And also firing shots that were also dark. So, like, visibility, even with this gamma up, was very tricky. Ugh, alright. Um, I already used the book, so let me just do this now while I'm here. Oh. oh my god, not again. Okay, we're fine. Really? Okay, this should be okay now. Ugh. Man. What's the last one? Shadow? Um... Ugh, the pro- oh, fuck. I could take- I could take the void... ...and then consume the book, but then if I- if I take this... ...that's transformation. That's why I'm weighing it up, is like, do I want the transformation? Remember we have BFF. There's BFF in play, so it is stronger than what you think. You want to check if Buddy in the Box works or can join? Alright, maybe do that. I'm pretty sure it does, but... Let's wait for the fact check. If it contributes to conjoin, it does. Alright, then we're taking this. Yep. Better damage output and, uh, of course, the buddies benefit from BFF, so... Whilst the void is amazing, it's just, I think, in this circumstance... ...being able to do... I just noticed the shots aren't as spread either, but that's cool. Okay, definitely want that. Better loot. And then everything else, we're good. So with any luck now, we should be able to complete Gup. Also, the little lost... <laughs> the little lost survived. As long as I don't mess this up. It might be Eye of the Occult. Yeah, you might be right. Which... Ah, oh, thank you. All the more reason. I'm gonna turn the Gamma back <laughs> to what it was. Jeez. Back to 120. Okay. Uh, I mean... You might be right. Alright, no, no point in that. If I'm picking that up, like... I'm kind of acknowledging that I might lose. Have I found the super secret room yet? I don't think I have. It's possible that that could be a room with runes. Don't you dare! What happened to better chests, huh? Um, where would this be? Oh, maybe I should have shot at it for longer. I gotta remember my acid shot's not procking as much now. Yeah, no mushies.
I've had cases where, like, two of them have appeared. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Like, that's just too much effort. I should pick it up, because I guess if I, let's say, take a hit... Oh, there it is. Okay, now I'll definitely go. If I take a hit and I survive, then I guess it technically has a purpose. Like, I suppose it could have some practical use, but... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this item may be better than I originally thought now, because I've never gotten it to give me anything, and... This is... With this mantle, huh. Definitely keeping it in mind. Eh, uh, okay, it's not always an item. But I mean... If I can keep it alive, which is pretty likely, honestly. Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter here, because it's bomb. Body in the box has two shot. Yeah. A BFF tooth shot at that. I wouldn't- I wouldn't be surprised if it's doing more damage than me. At this point. Because I only have 4.86 damage. Even with my triple shot, like, it- I wouldn't be surprised if it did more damage than me. Be around 21 per shot. Damn. Yes! Useless item! <laughs> I'm gonna see if I'm gonna hold out for a reroll, but I doubt it's gonna happen. Good item, but not in this case. This is a case of bad luck, I'm afraid. Oh, good. Well... Okay, I was gonna say it could end up being... ...a crawl space, but nope. Yeah, it was worth a shot using it. Oh, but you know... No. No, no. This still hasn't served its purpose. There's still two more floors. Oh, wait! But no, that was that was the little lost shield, not mine. We're okay. He's okay. Don't worry, little buddy. Not worth it. Seems to be just the floor of not worth it. Sure, why not? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's under control, it's under control.
I need better move speed. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why does anyone do anything? Suspense, entertainment value, who knows? These guided shots are quite useful. I think we're done. How do you unlock the alt floors? You mean the alternate path or like the alternate version of this floor? Path? Um, beat hush. I believe it's not on the first clear, it's on the second, maybe even the third. But uh, yeah, you beat hush. Hang in there, little buddy. You did good. You did good, little buddy. Um... I'm, well... I mean, it's free and I have money, so... Who cares? <laughs> that is blood money. Or instead of money, you use blood. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Should probably be careful with this. That would be really good if I wasn't the last. Yeah. So if you, and it's only really useful for stores. So, but <laughs> it's just, I guess, another way of doing devil deals, more or less. And if you combine that with the member card, where you kind of get good items in there anyway, it's it's not bad. As well as this is going, I'm still ultimately at the mercy of whether or not the portal to Delirium opens. <laughs> it's just kind of a sad reality, but, you know, it is what it is. I didn't really have a build here that was worthy of, like, rushing ahead to Hush. Don't know if I could do delirium with this. Uh, now I can. Kinda. If, if I lose the shield, just back out again. This is this is a huge item. You're yeah, right. Like I um, I don't think I can do it. But there's still room for growth, hopefully. Where's my planetarium? But this, I know it's not guaranteed, but come on, really? Yeah, if I get broom, it's this build is gonna take off. Oh. 
Oh, Guppy. Guppy would also be good. Oh, no! Little friend! No! Well, I laser prioritized it. <laughs> so sad. Just... Man, they, they really wanted him dead. Yeah, the other thing that concerns me is that the move speed is not great. I don't want to go near that. I think he's stuck in the vomit loop. There we go. Well, yeah, I mean, he has the potential to help me out. I mean, look, in any sort of competitive game, the smart thing to do is take down the healer. <laughs> the thing assisting the, the thing doing the damage. DPS will go down very quickly once their supports are gone. I'm not quite at the point yet where I'm carrying. Hey, Alright, I don't think I'd use this, but let's just... Well, I have now, so... I think as long as it's before the item appears, it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Oh! Right, blood money. Yeah, so this is what happens with blood money. So you kind of become the keeper. It's alright, I have money. Bad for the current context, but it's okay because we're pretty much done with normal devil rooms anyway, so I'll I'll have the money either way. Besides, I don't need them. Oh jeez. Fucking hate it when that happens. I don't think that should be allowed to happen. Yo, I got... Is that a granddad reference? <laughs> is this a is this a vine source reference? No. It kind of looks like granddad. It might it must be another character. Jeez, that BFF Brim baby's no joke. The thing is, yeah, if I was doing a normal run... Oh, okay, don't get sniped. Yeah, it's possible that my BF BFFs are stronger than me. Oh, okay. I mean... Used it before. <laughs> it added the bombs in. Yeah, my damage isn't high. Uh, I've used book now. I don't think it matters. Ooh, ooh I think I'd rather the door stop. There's a little bit of a fail safe. Where 
are we? Ah. I mean, my damage does get up there once it's buffed. Yeah, I'm hoping I get holy light, buddy, at the right moment. But that's the thing, it's always pending if stupid portal even appears. Oh, come on, really? Back it up. Just be patient. There we go. Oh, these things are gonna this these things are gonna assassinate my little friend. Alive. All right. Uh, we got the negative. Down we go. Yeah, I mean, he gave me one item. Oh. Oh no. That is, uh, yep. That is quite lucky. Ha! I may as well pick this up. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay, this is, this is it. This is the combination I was after. This is the one! But that's six damage. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this is like visually impressive. It's just. Yeah, true three brims in one spot. I didn't even think about that. So, okay, fine. Dude, mental. Look. Oh. <laughs> I still have one movement speed. Can I please get something that increases my movement speed? Bye. There's, there's no reason for me to be in there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
so good. Nope, going back. Don't want to risk eating a hit. This is why the door stop is important. For fuck's sake. Oh, that, it's alright, that wasn't me, that was little friend. Wow. Okay, the portal is here. The portal is here. <sighs> Alright. I, I kind of have to take the chance. It's, it's just too low of a chance otherwise. I just need a card to- Oh, this sucks. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Devil Deal items. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh my god. Holy crap. I just need a card to be able to teleport because unfortunately the map is hidden, so... It's kind of hard to deduce where Delirium's gonna be, so we just gotta hope for a card. I'm not gonna go in any of the rooms until I have a way to potentially- Oh wait, no, 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 we can step out, we can step out, we can step out. I'm wrong. We can st we can just step back. Uh, alright, that's unlucky. Wait, why wasn't a- I did use this. Alright, I've definitely used it now. The one thing I'm worried about, though, is, is just this movement speed. I feel like... Okay, there he is. Alright, now we know where he is. Now we can do the rest. Yeah, dude, doorstop. I, I got the feeling the doorstop is going to be the MVP here. Just fight near the doorway, dodge where I can, and then, yeah. This movement speed is still the only thing that I'm stressing out about. It's not ideal to have base movement speed at this point. Every Everything else about this is just, it's good. Just, oh man, come on. Don't, don't let movement speed be the thing that, that ultimately ruins this. Hold up. I fuck. <laughs> can't get it. I have to pick up that item eventually, but not right now. Oh, <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean. Although, mind you, what would happen if I pick it up before I go to Delirium? Because the way it works is it has to kill stuff, right? Like, it doesn't just turn on me. It turns on me after a certain point. Okay, hold up. Let me read, uh, let me read about the item and find out when it turns on you, because... With a BFF... As long as I don't let it kill anything else... It's like 30 kills. So I could get it before I go to Delirium. 
and guaranteed it's not going to get another kill. Oh, dude, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I need to take a leak. But I don't want this. Nah, but it's gonna distract me. Um, hang on. Give me like 30 seconds. I just need to take a leak. I drank too much water. But, oh, this is looking good. Back in like a minute. There's the seed if you wanna play as well, so hey, beneficial. Ugh, I feel so much lighter. Alright, now that won't distract me. <laughs> so I guess as long as the thing doesn't turn on me. I will rate up on it, either way. Just wanna be absolutely positive that it's not gonna screw me over. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, that was scary. Oh wait, it wasn't mine that went off. Alright, we're good. It was a little friend. But, you know, you have served your purpose. I suppose I should open these just in case I get a card, like a... One that gives me damage up. Empress would probably be best, because that's damage and movement speed. We've been here, right? Yeah. No, we haven't. Okay. Ooh, that's a big one. That's huge. Random shield. That's gonna help in the fight. That's- that's a huge- that's a huge pickup. Oh my god, this curse, dude. I mean, the Satanic Bible has definitely, like, caused this to happen without it. Oh, okay. That's the thing, like, go back to the start of the run where I was like, nah, I want the Satanic Bible. That decision right there. That's what led to this. Yeah, 
know, sat finally Satanic Bible worked here. But, you know, I still got some devil items. Like, that one there is... It is found in devil rooms, so... Okay, let me see what else I can get. I think I'm done, but I want to make sure I maximize everything. I mean, okay. This is a little bit of copium, but let's just... Again, I'm looking for a card. Card would be great. Come on, dude. Really? Really? <laughs> this is what I have to show for, for almost 50 pennies. Game, please. <laughs> it really doesn't want to give it. Okay, well, there's that again. Um, I guess... Is it time to go get the blood puppy? I think it is. Oh, this is going to be... This is spicy, this move right here. Okay, I have, I have, I have a chariot. I have a chariot card, so that's, that's not bad. That's another panic button move. I guess that's the thing, is if I always feel like... It's gonna go south, I can get out. The only problem now is I kind of have to fight in the bottom left corner. It's a bit restrictive, and it might not always be ideal, but ugh. Alright, I guess let's go, that's it. Chariot does help, but it's not going to help forever. Movement speed. That wasn't my shield. That wasn't. That's my shield. Nah, I'm out. It happened too early. Out. It's just gonna be... Patience. I'll know it when I have it. I'm glad that the little fella's dead, because now I don't get distracted by the breaking of the shield. There will be a point where, like, I will have to risk it, but for now, like, 
Anything on the half health is unacceptable. Oh my god, this move speed. The problem is, it gets faster and faster, and there are certain enemies that are just like, so to dodge them at the movement speed they're doing stuff at. Okay, we're shielded. I'm out. It's the movement speed. That's straight up the problem right now. There's certain things where I, I can't dodge them. Because it becomes too much of a bullet hell and I can't get out of there quick enough. It's alright, like as long as I keep this up, I should be able to result this in a win. The key is not rush not rushing it, just play off the strength of this build. Yeah, see like shit like that. That is why this fight sucks for the lost. It's okay, I was shielded, so we don't lose anything. Vessel, dude. Vessel. I need to keep this close to my body as well so then I can see where it's shooting. Oh god. Alright, use this as an opportunity. Fuck you, we win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's not going to get better than that today. Ah, oh, man. All right, I'm happy. That just leaves Gradio now, so... Gonna leave it at that. Let's end on a high note. That was a good run. Yeah, pretty much the play here was... The Satanic Bible, where I just kept re-rolling for those books. It just set in motion everything else, because that brimstone came from that. As well as that other one. Like, all of it just came from that single play. And that's why... Sometimes you just gotta be patient. <laughs> and take every advantage you can get. So... There you go. Alright, uh, I am gonna take a small break. I wanna wrap up tonight with a little bit of Terraria. As I've been doing that really hard seed. That is a bit of suffering and a bit of a troll, so... I want to make a bit of progress in it just to chill for the rest of the evening. And by chill, I mean also, also suffer to some extent. But just give me five minutes to stretch my legs, get a drink of water, and a bottle here, so then I have water. And then we'll uh, do that for the rest of the evening. But we will return with more Isaac tomorrow, and we're going to get the Keeper done and get this character out of the way. I mean, sorry, you know, greedier. Greedier. And then move on to the Keeper. So that'll be the plan for tomorrow. But if you're here for Isaac, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. 